I'm Eddie Johnson. Uh, I work for AV. Uh, I'm based out of London. Uh, my job role here at AV is that I'm the VP of Proposition and Pre-Sales. Uh, what does that mean? Well, that means that uh, I help the sales teams uh, to navigate the world of payments and uh, to introduce what we do as a company uh, from a very technical level, uh, but also work out how we go to market, work out new and innovative ways for us to take our solutions and our products uh, to market in ways which are easier for our customers to accept and to adopt, uh, and that gives them more out-of-the-box ability. Uh, and, and again, we focus very much on in-store payments or, or in-person payments. Uh, and with that sort of payment flow, there are uh, a few different components. So first of all, you've got to think about what type of payments you want to accept. Uh, then you've got to think about how you want to accept them. So what sorts of devices do you need? What sorts of ability to accept do you need? Uh, and then on the complete other side of that, you've got to think about, well, how do you want to process those payments? How are those payments going to actually be processed through the system? And then additionally to that, there's a kind of fourth principle, which is, and how do I want to be able to see that and report on that and interact with that, that, that solution? And when we're talking about orchestration, we're talking about the ability to tie all of those pieces together giving our customers the flexibility to not have to compromise on any of them. So they can pick the best types of solution that they want, the best ways of accepting those payments, and the best ways of processing those payments, all while giving the, the, the solution uh, the, the ability to be integrated with, to, to get the data out of it in real time, to really take in-person payments to a space where it doesn't have to be this sort of closed loop, uh, invisible solution anymore, um, but is really able to be the best of all worlds. Sure, so those solutions that you're referring to are obviously very close to my heart because they're part of our proposition suite. Uh, and they really are ways of, of getting people uh, onto our platform and onto uh, our, our way of thinking and working very quickly. So one of the challenges that we have by being an orchestrator and by being so open is that there are many, many question marks around what we do. Again, as I said initially, you know, what type of payments, what, how do you want to accept them, what sorts of verticals are you looking at? So what we're trying to do is, is give people these out-of-the-box solutions that can solve a specific challenge very quickly while still enabling them to then uh, come into the, into the journey, into the platform that, that then allows those creative, open uh, solutions in the future. So really what we're doing is, is we're, we're putting the pedal to the metal and we're allowing people to accelerate on the path to the future of in-person payments uh, with solutions off the shelf that solve challenges today. Yeah, ab ab absolutely. And, and really it raises a wider point, which is about customer preference. And when I say customer preference, that can be a merchant's preference, it can be a consumer's preference, because ultimately, you know, everything that we're doing in in-person payments comes down to that end consumer. Um, and, and what we try to achieve is, is giving solutions that are flexible enough to allow those preferences to be catered for. Um, so yeah, absolutely, when you talk about cash, uh, but even when you talk about modern alternative payment methods, hey, I want to pay by direct bank transfer, or I want to pay with Bitcoin, or, or, or you know, whatever the current alternative payment method du jour is, we've really moved from a place where the merchant gets to decide what payment methods they accept and the customers have to deal with it to a place where, you know, if, if you walk into a store and you can't pay in the way you want to pay, you're probably going to leave that store. And, you know, we're building solutions that allow all of those different preferences and different payment methods to be, uh, to be acceptable, to be accepted, uh, but not just to be accepted, to be accepted in a way that is uh, uh, both uh, easy for the customer to use, seamless for the merchant to be able to report on uh, and get the right data out at the right time.